one thing that I find quite interesting is, um, for example, during uh, the 2015 uh, campaign during the election, I'm just talking based on personal experience here of, uh, you know, of the media. Um, what I found actually really quite interesting then was that because I was a single young female candidate, um, I did end up with a lot of uh, questions being thrown at me by journalists about, you know, my marital status, whether or not I was dating anybody, when was I going to have children, um, you know, because, you know, they, 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 they looked at me and they saw this, uh, you know, young female person and, you know, the, the immediate thought there was, you know, I'm going to, you know, uh, you know when, when am I going to go off and start a family? Um, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, the Terence who was on the same team uh, was also unmarried at the time, but, you know, he was getting questions about uh, where do you see Singapore's economy going? Uh, you know, so, so it's, it's, it's a bit more subtle in, um, in, 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 in that. Um, and then these are actually, a lot of them were actually female journalists. So I think um, we need to be mindful that, uh, you know, as women, sometimes we can be very harsh on women as well. So we need to be mindful of our own, uh, you know, our own, our own attitudes, and just to think that, <clears throat> and not not to assume that just because uh, there are a lot of female journalists there, that therefore there's not a problem. We should move on.